won't divide us. Right. It right. will unite us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right now at 11, calls for unity in the wake of a deadly ambush of two NYPD officers that left one of them dead and the other fighting to survive. Good evening, I'm Jessica Moore. Now on CBS2 and streaming on CBS in New York, we begin with that tragedy that's rocked the NYPD and left the city in mourning tonight. At a candlelit vigil in Harlem this evening, police officers stood arm in arm while community members held signs of support for the NYPD. They prayed for Officer Wilbert Mora, who's still in critical condition, and grieved rookie officer Jason Rivera, who died last night at Harlem Hospital. All day long, flags have been flying at half staff, and memorial bunting was hung at the 32nd precinct where the officers are stationed. Earlier today, Mayor Adams and PBA President Pat Lynch visited the station house. Lynch says officers from other parts of the city are covering patrols out of the 32nd, allowing those officers to attend vigils and to grieve. We have team coverage for you tonight, beginning with CBS 2's Kieran Dillon. She's live at the precinct. Kieran? Jessica, a vigil for those officers took place earlier tonight. Let me give you a live look behind me right now so you can see for yourself. Flowers and candles have been placed here in front of the precinct that both officers were assigned to. And throughout the evening, we have seen dozens of people come by to pay tribute to the brave officers who were shot here while on the job. To bring this city back to unity. Community members and elected officials gathered Saturday night outside the 32nd precinct to pray. Violence won't divide us. Right. It right. will unite us. The vigil comes after two officers were shot in the line of duty Friday. Officer Wilbert Mora remains in critical condition. Officer Jason Rivera was fatally struck. Well, I'm in shock. I'm in shock that this is all happening. I can't believe it. I just feel so bad for him and his family. Michelle Rodriguez was Rivera's neighbor when he was growing up in Inwood. She says he was newly married. She last saw him a few days ago. He was a caring, caring guy, caring guy, always um, a gentleman helping with bags, um, looking for parking. He was always available to, to me, to, the t to all of us. He was very proud to be, you know, to be going to the academy to, to become an officer. And look what happens. It's just devastating. Officer Rivera had only been an NYPD officer for a little more than a year, but his love for the job was evident. In a letter explaining why he wanted to be an officer, Rivera called the NYPD the greatest police force in the world. He added his goal was to help change the relationship between police and the community. His old neighbor, Berlin Paulino, gets emotional when she speaks about him. He was just very sweet, a very sweet kid, and very kind. Like every time he used to see him around, like he would just say hi to you. Polino says she saw Officer Rivera the day he graduated from the academy. He just looked so happy, honestly. That's that's honestly all I could say. Like he was just so happy. He was so proud, and it's just so heartbreaking, honestly. So many of Officer Rivera's friends and colleagues were here at this vigil tonight. They tell us they are devastated by his death, but are now praying for his family. We are live tonight in Harlem. Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News. Just 22 years old. Kieran, thank you so much.